to establish it. Today, it looks like everybody must come from the environment. We are a federation. West is expecting that we need to mix up, both in terms of admission and staffing, to create the needed national integration and also competition that will enable the students to learn more from each other, to build a new Nigeria that we are hoping we are, we are, we are working hard to build. So my challenge to the federal university here, uh, particularly the pioneer vice chancellor, is that these jobs must be properly supervised. There must also be proper design of these structures. We don't want universities that have no respect for aesthetics. We want to build university, the environment also will determine the inspiration for students to read. We should not fall below the standards. When you go to Obafemi Awolo University up to tomorrow, you know that people planned it and were looking futuristic. So please, the finishing, the design, now that you have a lot of space, is very, very important. We don't all have to crowd the buildings. We need to create space between buildings and plant green environment so that as you move from building to building, you have a very good environment. You have 1,200 hectares, so it's important that in planning the university, there must be a total plan of the land and spaces between buildings to give the kind of environment that is required. I will advise, when we went to the University of Benin, we discovered that most of the land has been taken over by private people. So C of O is not a warranty that the land will not be encroached upon. My advice to you right away is that you must fence up the entire range of this land with plenty of trees. Plant trees, perimeter of maybe something like uh, 100 yards, round the entire land that is your own, and plant rows of trees inside so that you can effectively take charge of this land. Because when the university starts, you will be surprised the number of people that want to come and build here. People will be attracted by the university, so you better early plan to properly secure your land. You can't do it by building a fence, but you can do it by planting trees all around it and within the land itself so that you take effective control of the university. Uh, we wish you luck, and uh, we pray that this university in Katsina, uh, Katsina is known for scholarship long ago, even in the old northern region, most of the early colleges were always in Katsina. So it's a center of scholarship long ago. So it's nice that we're having a university here now, and we pray that it will be of service to this country. Thank you very much. People are So, well, um, I think uh, one good thing that this administration is doing, I'm referring to the federal government. We've had the opportunity of visiting so many states, and um, we've visited some of these new universities. In fact, it's a very big opportunity that government is providing admission, taking it at the doorstep. Because if you look at the last um, jam examination, you see the number of students. And then um, for government to have it in mind that there's need to provide easy admission for our own indigenous uh, citizens of this country, I think it's highly commendable. We know the amount of hard currency Nigerians are spending outside this country, just like the minister stated. When you go to Ghana, if you know the amount of resources, Nigerian resources that are committed in the education in Ghana, is even more than the budget of education in Nigeria. So if you have a government that is taking care of our own citizens, making sure that they get admission easily by providing universities, federal universities for that matter, for all states, I think is, is highly commendable. Uh, my own advice to the Vice Chancellor is that there is need to make sure that you supervise thoroughly. Let there be good uh, road network. Um, make every structure to stand the test of time. We've been to some institutions where uh, the structures put there despite the enormous resources committed by the federal government are not up to the standard. But this is a place of a former president, many presidents in this country, 
And I want to believe that you should be able to put structures that will stand the test of time. Thank you very much.